Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We are going to make five easy tequila cocktails. In fact, they're so simple, you can make them with everything that you see here, and it won't break the bank. Now, our first cocktail is the Paloma. It is a simple shaken cocktail that's absolutely gorgeous, and I'm going to make it slightly different, and the reason for that is you may not have grapefruit soda where you live. So what we're going to do to get around that is we will start with a grapefruit. We'll cut this in half, measure it three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils and pour that into the glass. Our next ingredient is lime juice. And what we need is the same amount. So what you want to do again is cut your lime in half. Now, this one, we're going to actually squeeze directly into the glass. The third ingredient that we're going to use is a simple syrup. Now this is a one-to-one -one simple syrup, meaning one part water, one part sugar, Warm it up until it all incorporates and goes clear and you're good to go. We'll use the same amount of three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Your fourth ingredient is a tequila. Now in this case, I'm using Casador's Blanco tequila. Um, use your favorite tequila for this. Although I do recommend a silver tequila or Blanco as they're called. However, two ounces or 60 mils and away you go. Now that you've done this, we're going to shake everything that we have here. So grab yourself a good scoopful of ice and you just want to make sure your glass is three quarters full or so. Slap your lid on. Make sure you got a good seal. Give it a flip and shake it. Now you're going to do that for a good five to eight seconds, depending on how much you want to dilute it, but you don't want to dilute it too much because your next ingredient is soda water. So grab yourself a highball glass and a few more cubes of ice just to fill up the glass like so. And then what we'll do is we will just strain this using our Hawthorne strainer on top. Okay, you want to leave enough space for your club soda. Now I'm using Canada Dry. Use whatever you like. And if you can get yourself a grape juice soda, add that on top too, because it'll just give you a bit more of that punch and that flavor. And you just want to top this for about an ounce to two ounces, which works out to a maximum of 60 milliliters. Absolutely gorgeous. Grab yourself a spoon. Just give this just a gentle stir, just to incorporate everything, but not enough to actually lose your effervescence. Garnish this with a piece of pink root fruit. And here you have La Paloma. Our second cocktail is a tequila daisy. It's simple, it's easy, it's shaken as well. So grab yourself another shaking glass, then grab yourself a spoon and a little bit of white sugar. And you need between half a teaspoon and a teaspoon, depending on your taste. And you just wanna use white fine sugar. Our second ingredient is going to be lemon juice. So what you need to do now is grab yourself a lemon and we don't need a lot of this, but what we will do again is cut this in half, measure of half an ounce or 15 mils and pour that into the glass. Once you've squeezed out your lemon juice, you actually wanna just take the time to stir this just a little bit. This will help it absorb into the lemon juice. However, you're not going to get it all in there, but it will when you actually shake this. The next ingredient, which I forgot to add here, is an orange liqueur. Now the recipe itself calls for Grand Marnier. If you don't have any, go with your favorite. In this case, I'm just using a little bit of dry curacao or a pure friend, and we're going to use a total of a half an ounce or 15 mils. The fourth ingredient is your tequila of choice. Uh, again, I'm just using silver tequila for all of this. I'm using some Cazadores. Use what you like best and play around with these ingredients to find the best flavors that you can possibly find. Again, we're going to use a total of two ounces, which works out to 60 mils. Our next step in the process is to shake this with a little bit of ice. So again, what we'll do, we'll just make sure that we use a good scoop of ice. We want to get, you know, three quarters to most of the way full. Grab yourself a top, you know, slap it on, give it a flip, and shake it. All right, so you want to make sure that you shake that for a good eight to 10 seconds, then knock it off with the strength of a thousand lemons and grab yourself a nice little fancy coupe. Again, glass type is totally up to you. We're going to fine strain this now. And that looks absolutely gorgeous, but we're not done yet. We need a little bit of soda water and we just need a bit of a splash. Now that you've done that, 
You just wanna garnish this with a little bit of a lime wheel. And here you have a tequila daisy. Our third cocktail is a Mexican firing squad. Simple, easy again, and of course, shaken. And we're gonna start that with our tequila this time. Again, I'm using a Blanco tequila. Um, should you use different tequilas for any of these cocktails? The answer is whatever you want. Uh, but we're going to use an ounce and a half for 45 minutes. Our second ingredient is lime juice. Uh, we're going to use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. So what we'll do is we'll just cut a small lime in half. Uh, your average lime will give you about one ounce. However, this is small enough that I can just squeeze both halves directly into the glass. And for your third ingredient, you need some bitters. Now in this case, I'm using some Angostura bitters but we need a total of three to four dashes, so I'm going to use four dashes. And finally, we're going to use some grenadine. Uh, use some homemade grenadine if you have it, because it'll give you better flavors. I just don't happen to have anything on my shelf at the moment, so I'm going to use some roses. You don't need a lot. We're going to use half an ounce of this, which is 15 mils. Your next step is to shake this with a little bit of ice. Having said that, again, we're just going to go with a scoop full and that'll give you again about three quarters of your glass. Just throw that in there like so. And you're going to make sure, again, always seat it well, give it a flip and shake it a smile. Now you want to make sure that you shake this for a good 10 seconds, right? And I probably gave it a bit of a short shake there. However, what we're going to do now is put this into our rocks glass. Um, I'm using a double rocks glass just because I like the size and the weight. Use whatever you think works bed, but you just want to make sure that you fill this up with a little bit of ice. And then what we'll do, just using our Hawthorne strainer, we'll just pour it on top. The color on this is absolutely fantastic. So you wanna garnish this with a little bit of a lime wedge, and here's your Mexican firing squad. Our fourth cocktail is called a siesta, AKA nap time. Having said that, again, it's a shaken cocktail, and you're gonna start this with a little bit of grapefruit juice. So what you're gonna to need to do is take your grapefruit that you have left, and what you wanna do is just add it to your squeezer, and we need half an ounce or 15 mils. Your next ingredient is a little bit of lime juice. So throw this off to the side. And what we're going to do, besides knocking stuff over, is grab yourself a good size lime, cut this in half. Now, as I said earlier, uh, one lime is about one ounce. So you just need to squeeze half your lime directly in. Now, your next ingredient here is a little bit of simple syrup. Again, I'm using the same one-to-one -one simple syrup. So we'll go with half an ounce or 15 mils. Your next ingredient is some bitters. Again, I'm using Angostura, it's easy. However, you can adjust the flavor by adjusting the type of bitters that you use. Now, like I said, Angostura, and I'm gonna use two dashes. We're now going to amp the flavor and the bitterness of this cocktail up a little bit by using a little bit of Campari. Um, if you want something that's just a little bit gentler, you could go with some Aperol. However, we're going to use half an ounce or 15 mils. Our next ingredient is the tequila of your choice. Again, I'm using a little bit of Cazadores. Uh, use what you want. In this case, uh, a Reposado might be really, really nice. However, you don't need a lot. We're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Now that you've done that, again, we're gonna add a little bit of ice. Uh, same goes as before. Give it to about three quarters of the glass. And you just wanna make sure that you shake this for, uh, 10 seconds, if that. So what we'll do, slap this on, give it a foot, and shake it. All right, so what you wanna do is pop that off with the strength of a thousand different types of citrus fruit, knock it off to the side, and then grab yourself a nice fancy little coupe. And what you wanna do is you wanna fine strain this to keep out any chunks of pulp. And finally, we're going to garnish this with half a lime slice like so. And here you have your siesta. Our final cocktail is the tequila bee's knees. And again, it's a shaken cocktail. However, we are going to start this with a little bit of lemon juice. 
So, you know, just cut this in half. And what we'll do is we will squeeze three quarter of an ounce or 22 and a half mils directly into the glass. Your second ingredient is a one-to-one -one honey syrup, meaning one part water, one part honey, and you warm it just enough to incorporate. You don't want to heat it up as much as you would in any other type of syrup. So we're going to use a total of one ounce or 30 milliliters. Now to add a little bit of depth of flavor, we're going to add some bitters. Now again, I'm using Angostura, and we're going to use a total of two dashes. That first dash was a little bit of, so and we'll throw a second dash in so we got two full dashes in there. Next, you wanna grab your tequila choice. Again, I'm using a silver tequila. Uh, you could use for this one, ooh, a Reposado or an Anejo. Just give yourself some real depth of flavor. So we're going to add two ounces or 60 mils. And our next stage, add a little bit of ice to the glass and give it a really good shake. Uh, again, a good eight to 10 seconds. Shake as much as you feel like you need to. So again, three quarters of an ounce. Drop this on there. Make sure you've got a good seal. Get flipped and shake it. Now that you've not done that, take that off with the strength of a thousand drops of lemon because I just spilled it all over the place. Clean that up. Give yourself a nice fancy rocks glass, whatever, and fill this up with a bunch of fresh ice. And what we'll do is we'll just using our Hawthorne strainer, we'll just pour it straight in. So what you wanna do after you've done that, grab yourself a slice of grapefruit, put it on here, and here you have a tequila bee's knees. And here we have five simple and easy tequila cocktails. We have a tequila bee's knees, a siesta, La Paloma, we have a tequila daisy, and we have a Mexican fire and squat. If you like lots of cocktails like this, take a look right up here for five vodka cocktails.